hello friends my name is sanket naik uh, today i am going to show you how to change the color of the j frame j button j label etc and uh, make it permanent for example uh, when you run the program and change the background color to gray and close it and when you next time run the same program then the color will be there uh, i am using the eclipse but you can also use the netbeans so type the code inside the j button dot action perform uh, color c is equals to j color chooser dot show dialog uh, use the arguments null null and null Use the semicolon. Now this, this the word this means the class name. Dot get content. Pen. Dot set background. <coughs> C. Now I will check the output. Select the color sky blue. Okay, here we go. now the program says that the each color has the minus integer value so i will check it string c uh, col no means the color number is equals to string dot value of and uh, inside that type c dot get rgb system dot out dot print ln okay print type col no i will check the output <coughs> okay so this is the int value integer value of that color I will close it. Now we have to store the that value inside the text file. So we have to import the I/O import Java dot I/O dot star type here print writer pw is equal to new print writer uh, the argument will be the text file that is a bg color dot txt is a semicolon there is an error so we have to add the try catch we remove this line after that you have to type print writer dot write so type col no print writer dot close now run it comment the statement system dot out dot print ln go to the file location there is a bg color dot txt and inside that there is the value of the color now type inside the constructor or if you are using the netbeans then type after the init components buffer reader br is equal to new buffer reader inside that the argument will be the new file reader the file name that is a bg color dot txt okay 
paste it now there is an error so we have to throw the exception now we have to type color c is equals to new color <coughs> integer dot parse int the argument will be br dot read line throw the another exception that is an io exception um then type this dot get then dot set background c now the last time i selected the color black i'm not sure by the way okay there we go i will check it once again so i will select the low color and next time when you run it then the yellow color will be there so this is how it works uh, thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye